I can tell you right now is that the Detroit Police Chief James Craig says a supervisor tried repeatedly to get officers to break off that pursuit that ended in the deaths of those two children playing nearby. But today it is still unclear if the officers ever got or heard that order. The pursuit began at the intersection of Chatsworth and Cornwall on the city's east side. Chief Craig says three officers in a marked vehicle made eye contact with two men in a red Camaro. One of the officers claims he saw a gun in the car. That's why police initiated the chase. The cruiser's lights and sirens were on. The chase lasted a mere 62 second, seconds when a distance of just over a mile and a half and the Camaro hit a top speed of 95 miles an hour. Craig says a supervisor ordered the officers to break off that pursuit. But right now there's no proof of that happening. We've gone down to communications to verify whether or not the super, supervisor's request was heard. We did not pick that up. Now, police say that this chase began because an officer spotted a gun in the car. But right now, that gun has not been found. We're going to have more on that tonight at 5. But for now, live from police headquarters, Curtis Jackson, the Now Detroit. Joanne, back to you. Hey, Curtis, it is just such a tragedy what has happened here. So we know those two kids are dead. And again, the conditions, what we know so far about the others hurt in this tragedy. Uh, we do know that there was a three-year-old and a five-year-old. They are now in stable condition. The three-year-old is apparently alert and talking. The seven-year-old, however, injured in this case, is still in critical condition. And Joanne, we're told that all three are related. They're cousins. Unbelievable story. Curtis Jackson, thanks so much for the live report. One neighbor organizing a prayer vigil tonight at 6 o'clock for the victims of this accident. It's going to be held at the corner of Nottingham and Frankfurt near the accident site. And staying with 7 Action News for continuing coverage of this deadly crash, we will bring you the latest developments coming up on 7 Action News at 5.